After a nerve-wracking final few hours of leg seven, Abu Dhabi Ocean Racing managed to stave off a relentless attack from Group Armour to clinch their first leg victory of the Volvo Ocean Race. Seven months after leaving Europe, Azam crossed the finish line tonight in Lisbon, just five and a half minutes ahead of Group Armour. The French crew had been systematically eating away at their lead for the last few days, leaving Abu Dhabi skipper Ian Walker and his men visibly drained. This leg seven win is not only a first for Abu Dhabi Ocean Racing, but also the first leg win for Ian Walker in the Volvo Ocean Race. I'm broken, so I'm absolutely exhausted. I've lost my voice, and uh, I don't think you could make the end of a race any harder than that, you know? With, uh, coming up the river, 18 knots, then no wind, and oh my God, but it's been five days of intense pressure with people catching us, catching us, catching us, and uh, we did it, we did it. I'm so pleased for Abu Dhabi, I'm so pleased for the team. We've been saying it all race, you know, we've had a really tough race, and we don't have the speed of the other boats, and uh, we have to win the race in other ways and uh, it's been a long, long, hard race and, and not just the guys on the boat, you know, all the guys in the shore team, everybody put so much work in, the sponsors, this is for them, you know, it's, for, it's amazing, it's uh, so, so much effort goes into these projects and for moments like this. After an 11-day battle across the Atlantic, Frank Kamas' team on Group Armour had to accept second best on the night as they watched Abu Dhabi cross the finish line just ahead of them under a thunderous welcome of fireworks from the city of Lisbon. But Group Armour's second place still catapults them to the top spot on the leaderboard, replacing Telefonica as overall leaders for the first time since November. Well, it's sure that it's a super operation. We didn't think we were the leader here at the end of the end. That was a super job. To become race leader at this stage is good going, with Telefonica having been ahead since the beginning. We're not under pressure. Holding the lead is good, but there are still a few legs to go, so I won't say much more. There's still Lorient to come before the end. We don't have it, because I think we take things as they come, and the leader, or the second, or on the podium, we're already very happy with this performance. Et euh, voilà, il reste deux étapes et euh, rien n'est joué aujourd'hui, rien ne sera joué certainement à Lorient, ça sera toujours à la fin, mais c'est une super course et c'est pour ça qu'on l'aime. With just two legs and three import races remaining, the 2011-12 edition has developed into the most exciting and closest Volvo Ocean race yet, with four teams still capable of winning.